Oh boy. Hello, Mr. Best. Oh yeah, fans, guys. Today we are trying to escape this spooky dark cave. What I happened to do last time. Ooh, cool, cool. What I happened to do last time was I went into a cave with zero torches, and that was not so wise. <laughs> and then I stumbled into a dungeon and into a darker, scary place with creepers. And there was like a lush cave and amethyst and everything. But then I literally accidentally found the deep dark. <laughs> Whoops! So I the deep dark. Uh, so, <laughs> anyways, uh, what I was trying to do before all of that deep dark stuff was cover up my entire base with stone slabs. And it can be a variety of stone. The reason I want to do this is so that mobs will stop spawning. Uh, well, at least, I mean, I don't think it can spawn on ice anyways. So, if one, it's to make mobs stop spawning. And two, it's to make my base look a lot nicer. I mean, it looks a little weird. But, I mean, like, all this ice just makes me feel like I'm living on a poor person's lake. Like, come on, man. I want to look like I'm living on nice, high-quality land. So I'm going to cover absolutely, absolutely everything in stone. Variations of it, like polished and not polished. And maybe it can look pretty good. But, yeah, that's not, yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> I had a couple ideas and my ideas just didn't work out. Should I use marble slabs? Uh, you know what? Worst case scenario, it looks horrible. <laughs> okay. Let's go, guys. Let's do worst case scenario, folks. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be very wacky. It looks like snow. Forming this base that we had ever since episode one. It's actually looking pretty interesting. Yeah, wow, look at this. Having a nice flat area. Flat. And it's not covered in ice. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. Uh, yeah. I had all this dirt here uh, to plant trees, but honestly the trees are just making me look poor and ugly. So what I'll probably do instead is um, I'll have trees like elsewhere. Yeah. I mean I still want wood. I'll just chop down the trees in this forest here instead. That's good. I need a purper around here. Okay. Oh, rabbit's foot jammed in the wall. Okay. All right. Uh, so. Where's my, here it is, over here. Here is some more charcoal. Let's go. That gives us two stacks of torches. Delicious. Now is most certainly the smart idea when it comes to the deep dark. Because if you don't have an escape route, you can so easily die. You can come blind after you pop a totem and your night vision gets reset. And then you're stuck in a dark cave with a warden that's chasing after you. And I don't have any sound in Minecraft. Did I mention that? I don't use sound in Minecraft. Honestly, on that note, I probably should make another uh, set uh, of night vision potions. Oh, but I need some bottles for that. No, I'm too lazy. I'm way too lazy to go get some bottles. We're just going to use the ones we have. Wait, uh, this way. Here's a base. Okay, that's that, and this is over this. Okay, here we go. Oh, if you teleport behind me. Uh, oh no, he did it! Yay, he did it! Yay, hold on. I didn't know if my flying was doing I will might, I might want to use this to get out, because like, for example, the other part will be nice to get into the dark, but if I want to get out, I might need to like, fly out. Because, you know, it's for a moment. If the warden's like right behind me, I don't have to wait like five seconds for the 
Nether portal. This is the craziest witch I've ever seen. Okay. Oh, don't go too close to the skulk. Don't go too close to the skulk. What is even going on? Bruh. This is literally an all-out warfare over here, guys. I got another two minutes on this night mission, though, so I gotta make it worth it. Okay, I killed a silly you. Then you can't shoot me while I'm building. Great. So now I can tower up. Okay. Some of you wanting to face that way and boom, the box over there. Great. Okay, let's start towering up. Let's start towering up. Okay, here we go. Here we go, guys. Okay, boom. Nice. We're just gonna build ourselves a nice tower. This is how I can fly out if I'm ever in danger. Nice. So we'll just tower out of here. Good ideas. Good ideas. Wow. Whoa! What a... This is steep. <laughs> okay. Good goodness. And the spider and the witch are still fighting now in there. <laughs> it's so crazy. How can a spider and a witch get angry at each other? How is it even... I don't even know how that's even possible. That's... That's something else. Here? Yeah, most certainly I can see this from over there. I think. Hopefully. Alright, that's good enough. Yo, guys, we found... We relocated and built up a pillar from the deep dark all the way down to our base, which is right here. And now all the time... Whoops, gotta be careful with landing. Guys, literally, I, this is my base. This is my base. I've lived here for 3,000 years. And we look over there, there's a pillar that leads to the deep dark. Oh, that's actually so... That's so cool. That is so cool. I think about the deep dark. It was complete luck that the deep dark was literally next to the base that I built. That's helpful. Because now I don't have to travel to super far. I can just go zoom. Now, honestly, do I need to build another portal? I really don't need to build another portal. I can just use a couple of rockets to get there every time. But I do want to be safe, though. I do want to be safe. So I will build ourselves. These are so annoying. Oh, let's see that three. That's one, two, three. Okay. Oh, of course. Yeah, and of course, the skeleton's here. That's why you can never trust being on a pillar, because you never know when skeletons are going to come by and decide to shoot you off. And it's so annoying. And here's a creeper. Hi, creeper. Lambskis. Oh my gosh, they're making me a little low. Oh my gosh. Yeah, blow these guys up. Boom. Easy. Take that. Frank. Oh my gosh. These guys don't know how to mind their manners. Okay. Easy, 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 easy. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. See where this takes us. Woo! Oh, that's pretty nice. That's pretty good. Uh, never mind. I don't care. All right. Phew. All right. We have located. Oh, that's why I got confused. Oh, that's actually so perfect. Oh my gosh. I guess it makes sense too, right? This is our base. This is literally, this is our base, right here. Literally directly behind here. So, hold on, hold on. Okay, I want you guys to soak this in. This is our base, right? This is our base portal. Literally 10 steps away. You can literally see both portals with your same eye. And this is the deep dark. Isn't that just crazy? Uh, I'm not going to be a fan of creepers randomly. Ah, uh, wait, hold on. Oh, did it do some linking? Oh, it might have done some wacky linking thing. Now I can't use it as a deep dark portal. Now it just turns into a... Now it just turns into a spawn portal. RIP. Okay, well, that didn't work out so well. Hey, at least! I mean, every time I go in the portal now, I can use it to escape and go right back here, rather than having to fly a little bit. Uh, whatever, okay. Nice, guys. Well, quite a bit of progress today. Uh, oh, hey, Enderman, what's up? Can I fight him? I'm gonna fight him. Hey, what's good, bro? Yeah, you can't... Ow, okay, okay. He does a little bit of damage. He does a little bit of damage. Not that much damage, though. Okay, okay, calm down. Calm... Oh, my gosh. Brother. Just chill. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I'm a little low. Hold on. Okay. Okay, okay. Alright, now let's do this. Now let's do this. Yeah, you can't get me now. Uh, I'll spam click. I, I got the I got the spam clicking going. Okay. You know, that was 
So not worth the one ender pearl. Okay. Uh, let's get a piece of skulk. I think that would be pretty funny to just go steal some skulk and then bring it back to my uh, house. Preparations. My night vision literally has five seconds left. So we gotta go in and out real fast. Really, whoops. Okay. Alright, quickly, quickly, quickly. Run over to Skulk Land and steal some Skulk. Whoops. Oh no, let me out, please. Out, 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 out. Shoot, let me out, please. Oh no, 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 Back, 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 leave, 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 Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, it is. Okay. Yeah, I guess it makes sense. And then if I go through here, then it just teleports me back to, uh, okay, okay. Phew! Okay, we got ourselves a piece of skulk. Now we got some crystals. Easy. That's gonna look great. In our museum. Okay, guys, I want to summarize what we did today. Guys, we got a bit of a on-the-moment museum here, but it's got some rare, cool items like totems and end crystals and diamond ore and skulk. We got ourselves a little skulk today. I want to get more skulk, though. Uh, we covered up our base with some slabs. I'm going to definitely do more of this. I'm hoping to use this to replace all of the ice. Oh, also, guys, if you see this pillar in the background, this is the deep dark over here. You go straight down, and boom, deep dark. Pretty easy. That's pretty cool. Nice. Guys, we have a safe escape from the deep dark. We built another portal in there, too, to be safe. And that's good news, guys, because now... We are nice and safe. We can go into the deep dark as we wish. I am going to need more night vision potions. And then I'll be good to go into the deep dark. And that'll be what the next episode is probably, I think. I don't know. Guys, I hope you enjoyed. We had a great time today. We got Skulk. We got Mini Museum. And we got Nice, Safe, Deep, Dark Passage. Easy. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I will see you guys in the next episode.